God doesn't get anything out of us fulfilling the commandments. We get something out of it. These are the answers to pass the test. This book defines what good is. In Islam, one of the conditions where a person becomes responsible to fulfill the commandments of the Quran is that they don't have any uh, mental challenges. So if they're mentally challenged, then those are lifted. God wants ease for you. And he does not want difficulty for you. So th this is an overarching principle in Islam that whenever there's difficulty, ease is to be brought in. So for example, with the prayers, the physical challenges, the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him said, pray standing, that's how we start praying. If you're not able to, then pray sitting. If you're not able to, then pray laying down. And so the scholars have derived from this, let's say if someone cannot get up, they just pray laying down, meaning they're gonna pray by the movements of their head, right? This is my bowing, and this is my going down in prostration, right? If they can't move their head, then they just move their eyeballs and make out the motions. If they can't move their eyes, then they just think during the time prayer that they're doing the motions and they're praying. And if they can't think because they've lost consciousness, then prayer is not an obligation on them anymore. So Islam has built, and this is just one small example of what is built with every commandment. There are ease commandments that come with it. That if you're in this difficulty, you don't have to do this. So if a person's sick and they can't fast. You don't have to fast. You could make it up like the Ramadan, the obligatory fast. You can make it up another day. If someone's pregnant and they have a difficulty fasting, they can make it up another day. Right? So there's ease in fasting. There's ease in praying. There's ease in it's, it's just spread all across the commandments of God Almighty because he is the most merciful and he wants ease for us. So God doesn't get anything out of us fulfilling the commandments. We get something out of it. These are the answers to pass the test. That these are the this is, this book defines what good is. The com the commandments are the definition of good. The prohibitions are the definition of evil. This is the definition of morality coming from our Creator. It's not man-made. It comes from the Creator of the universe. So we get something out of it because we need this to pass this test. This is the answer key right here. If a person doesn't worship God at all, God doesn't lose anything, right? We're the ones who chose free will, and that's why we're here on this earth. If we're not here on this earth for a test, then the question is, why didn't we just stay in paradise forever? Why was there even a sin for Adam? The sin for Adam was there because Adam was being trained in paradise about the do's and don'ts. Here's your training. This is out of God's mercy. I'm training you. This is what happens when you listen to Satan. You lose a good place. He got that training. He saw the repercussions. He saw the problems. Now you go down to earth and you teach your progeny. They have to follow God's guidance when it comes. So you don't listen to Satan and disobey his prophets and messengers. You'll pass the test. So God trained him and sent him down. He didn't send mankind down here without training. That would, be, that would not be a sign of mercy.